Okay, so our question that we're solving today is what is the orbital altitude of a geosynchronous satellite? So our first step here, we're going to derive the equations we need to use. We start with the uh, equation for centripetal force and the equation for gravity, and we're going to solve for V. V ends up being equal to the square root of the gravity constant times the mass of Earth over the radius. And next we're going to use the equation for a time period. We know that the time period t is equal to 2 pi r over v. We're going to switch the v and the t. We're going to get v equals 2 pi r over t. Then we're going to take that equation earlier that we, we derived and we're going to plug that in for v. We get square root of g m2 over r is equal to 2 pi r over t. So from that equation, you're going to uh, square both sides. You're going to multiply t over to the left, r over to the the right, you're going to have, and then you're going to divide by 2 squared pi squared. You're going to end up with r cubed equals t squared times gravity constant times uh, mass of Earth over 4 pi squared. Then we're going to plug in the time period of orbit, which is 24 hours, uh, converted to seconds. So we end up with 86,400 seconds. We're going to use the gravity constant and the mass of Earth. And we are going to multiply those all out end up with radius cubed, so we have to take the cubic root of each side, and the radius ends up being 4.23 times 10 to the seventh meters. But that is equal to the radius of Earth plus the radius of the satellite that we're looking for. That right there is what we're looking for. So we need to take this value and we need to subtract the radius of Earth, which is written up here. Apologies for the... Erase that real quick. Six. And we end up with a radius of... 3.59 times 10 to the 7 meters. And that's the uh, answer.